Hello, my name is Nicholas Youngblood. This is my Module 5 presentation for understanding my community. I work at Mid City High School. I work for the Davenport Community School District in Davenport, Iowa. A little bit about my community to start off is uh, it's called the Quad Cities as a whole. There's about 450,000, give or take, uh, in these four communities of about 40,000 or more people. Davenport, the city where I work, is of 100,000. Uh, it's in Iowa and Illinois, separated by the Mississippi River. Uh, some customs and traditions for this community uh, is equality for all, equal funding for students in Iowa. Not every uh, district gets the same amount of funding. Uh, there are several support programs in place in the district uh, for students from ELL uh, to special ed, uh, just to name a couple. Uh, it's a very active community, uh, a lot of trails, uh, music centered, uh, several nonprofits that focus on music, a symphony orchestra, uh, a place called the Redstone Room and the River Music Experience, along with a, a, a internet website called Day Trotter, uh, which does a lot for the community as well. Uh, there's various festivals, uh, parades, uh, there's a minor league baseball team here, the Quad City River Bandits, which is a single A uh, affiliate of the Houston Astros. Uh, there's community forums quite often. We get a lot of politicians uh, due to the Iowa caucus. Um, there's peaceful marches. I actually witnessed one yesterday uh, for the North Dakota Pipeline. Uh, peaceful protests. We are a religious community uh, to a degree with 48.8% that practice a religion. 18% uh, Catholic. Uh, diversity is represented in the school board and the city council. Uh, school programs that are focused on closing the achievement gap and changes supported by the Boots on the Ground initiative. Uh, there's 29 schools total uh, in Davenport Community School District, and I'll get to a little bit more of the school district here in a moment. Um, Davenport Schools at a glance, we serve uh, communities of Bluegrass, Buffalo, Davenport, and Walcott, and those are smaller uh, towns that surround Davenport. Uh, with a lot of farmland around them, uh, very small communities. Uh, it's 109 square miles. Uh, we have four high schools, four intermediate schools, one K-8 school, 17 elementary schools, a Creative Arts Academy uh, that works in conjunction with many of the nonprofits as far as the music and arts uh, in, the, in the community, a Keystone Academy, which is an alternative education center, a network of early childhood learning centers, uh, one stadium for, th for the four high schools, one operations center, and then the main office, which is called the ASC or Achievement Services Center. Um, it's $200 million budget. Um, the economic impact of it is uh, 3,000 employees. It's one of the top 10 employers in the Quad Cities, but the top three in Davenport. Uh, student enrollment is at 15,810 students. Uh, the diversity breakdown is 56% white, 18.9% black or African American, 14% uh, Hispanic, 9% multiracial, 1.8 Asian, and then 0.2 American Indian or Alaskan Native, and then 0.1 of Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander. Uh, the educational level here, 90% uh, of our uh, community members are high school graduates. Bachelors is at 27%, so that's somewhat low. Uh, the median age here is 35.8. The sex uh, breakdown is males stand at 51,707 at about 50.5%, and then females 50,741 at 49.5%. Uh, top three employers in Davenport are Deere and Company. John Deere's uh, headquarters is in Moline, but they do have Davenport Works uh, as well, which a lot of the combines are made out there. Uh, the Genesis Health System, and then the Davenport Community School District. Uh, the breakdown of the community is 75% white, 12% uh, black, Hispanic at 8%, a little over 8%, um, Asian 2.0, multiracial 1.3, other 0.6, and then native 0.05. Uh, there is segregation in this community by socioeconomic status. Uh, generally here, the wealthier or upper middle class to middle class live on the east side of town, whereas the lower class uh, lives on the west side of town. Uh, communication channels, uh, there's a lot of communication opportunities through television and radio. Uh, there's a, the Quad City Times, which is uh, housed in Davenport. The Moline Dispatch, which is located in Moline, Illinois. Uh, the River City's Reader, which is an independent newspaper, Radish Magazine, along with many other smaller publications. Uh, the four main channels here are KWQC, which is an NBC affiliate, uh, WHBF, which is a CBS, uh, KLJB, which is a Fox affiliate, and WKAD. Uh, which is an ABC affiliate. There are uh, some smaller stations, uh, such as MyTV, uh, which are local in many communities ar around the United States. Uh, radio, 
Um, there's quite a few stations. There's uh, 50 total regional broadcasts that we pull. Um, we do have some iHeartRadio affiliates here. A uh, major corporation is Cumulus Broadcasting. Um, and also we have two uh, Division III uh, colleges here. I'm sorry, one Division III and one NAIA, NAIA college here. Uh, the Division III is Augustana College, and then the NAIA is St. Ambrose University. But some of our radio stations, KISS FM, which is a national iHeart radio station, WLLR, 97X, Q106.5, B100, which is another national iHeart radio station, Mix96, uh, WVIK, which is Augustana Station, and KALA, which is St. Ambrose Station. Uh, two Spanish radio stations. Uh, there are ELL programs in the district uh, for our students, and I'll get to a little bit more about the, the amount of uh, individuals that serves. Uh, all medias play a major role in getting news to parents, uh, school and district Twitters, uh, Facebook, websites, uh, news blasts, which are emails to all the, all the parents of the students, and Remind 101, which is a texting service that many uh, sports and uh, programs use uh, to contact parents as well. Community groups, we have an abortion reproduction group, food and ag, business and consumers, campaign finance and elections, civil liberties, uh, rights, guns, unions, uh, children and families. Uh, the district uses Iowa Core. There are several district policies in place uh, that are listed on the website. An administrator of approval is required for any classroom presentation that takes place uh, to, to make sure that it falls in line with the district policies. Leadership, uh, the mayor of Davenport is Frank Klipsch. He is a Republican, but it's a nonpartisan mayor election. Uh, the superintendent of schools is Dr. Art Tate. Uh, that obviously for the mayor is voted on by the community uh, and also the residents within this community. Uh, mayoral race was based on city council being transparent, uh, whereas Dr. Tate's strengths are equal funding for all students uh, and something called attendance matters where he strives for less uh, than five absences uh, per year for all students to um, ensure that they do well in school. Um, community leaders' characteristics, they are extremely high character and confident. Uh, they're able to handle the situation. Uh, the mayor is a former director of the Davenport YMCA's, there's uh, four of them. Uh, general information sources that we have here uh, for the mayor, as he gets a lot of his information from the city manager to the Chamber of Commerce, uh, which is the Quad City Chamber of Com Commerce now, they have joined forces. Instead of having four different Chamber of Commerce, there's now one. Uh, the county supervisor, the city department heads, and the director of public works, which actually has the highest operating budget of any city department. Uh, he's very visible at many organizational meetings uh, as far as uh, civil organizations and highly visible through parades and, and on the news and things like that. The economic conditions of Davenport, uh, it is an agricultural base, a lot of retail here, uh, a lot of contractors for John Deere. Um, city bus uh, as well in, in the community. Um, unemployment rate is at 5.2 percent. Iowa minimum wage is 725. Uh, the sales tax is 7 percent of the income or income tax is 7 percent. Uh, I'm sorry, sales tax is 7 percent. Income tax is at 7.93 percent. Per capita income here is 24,741 and the medium income is 45,237. Uh, average property value is $125,200. Median rent here is $674. The property tax for average property value is $2,741.96, so that reflects the $125,200 uh, purchase price. The City Planner and Zoning Commission defines land use. Uh, the District Business Office, like I said, is located at the Achievement Service Center at 1606 Brady Street in Davenport, Iowa, and the CFO is Marsha Tangan, and there at the bottom you can get a glimpse of what the Achieve Achievement Service Center looks like. Uh, political structure, uh, politics and education are essential for funding. Uh, Iowa and uh, Davenport funding allocation looks like state aid from the state of Iowa. We get $6,591 per student. Uh, the school buildings are funded by Pebble money. Uh, the property tax assessment is at 9.59 per 1,000. And we have a 1% sale tax that goes to infra infrastructure and buildings as well, along with the Pebble money. Uh, there are gangs here. There are, there are some social tensions. There are several street gangs in our community. Uh, the crime stats are not overly uh, high, though, compared to the state of Iowa. Uh, well, they are high compared to the state of Iowa, but not uh, compared to a lot of cities of this size. 
Uh, 47.1 crimes per 1,000 residents. There's a 1 in 161 chance of you becoming a victim in Davenport. Um, Discrimination-wise, we do have a Pride Fest. Uh, we do celebrate diversity. Uh, and it's an important initiative in our community as we have a lot of people from Africa in our community as well uh, that have been exiled here uh, for safety. Cost, uh, causes of, of uh, strife in our community is we're losing a me, me, or middle class to other areas. People are uh, expanding, or communities are expanding around us, whereas we don't have a lot of room to grow. Uh, therefore, uh, a lot of the middle class is moving out of town, and it's causing that to shrink quite a bit. Uh, the entire population of the Quad Cities region, once again, is 474,937. Uh, the sources of information, uh, school records are available uh, at, at each school and at the district level. Um, Scott County, Iowa, and the uh, city of Davenport, and I'll mention these again at the end. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Wednesdays at 12 o'clock, you can watch a, a city council meeting every week. School board meetings are televised throughout the week as well. And then minutes for school board meetings can be found on the district website for DavenportSchools.org. Um, so you are able to attain any information that you need. Uh, power structures, uh, labor unions are big here. John Deere obviously is a top employer. And then we have an arsenal, uh, which is listed uh, on the bottom of the slide, uh, which is one of the largest arsenals um, in the United States. And you can see the swinging bridge uh, that the government has in place. So it is an island. That's why Rock Island is called Rock Island. And, and I didn't mention the actual city's names in the Quad Cities, but it is called Rock Island Moline, uh, Davenport, and Bettendorf. But Rock Island is called Rock Island because the arsenal is located on an island in the Mississippi. Multicultural issues here. Uh, schools are extremely... Um, they, they do understand and they do promote awareness. Um, diversity is celebrated. The NAACP does have a favorable look on our community and our schools, uh, but there are 42 languages spoken in the community and the school staff is underrepresented obviously for the amount of different languages that are, are, are spoken. Uh, cultures are celebrated. We have a foreign exchange program. Uh, diversity is respected and promoted. We have excused absences for holiday. Uh, we are a non-uniform district, but you may wear religious clothing, and any materials in other languages are printed by request. Power structure. We utilize four community outreach committees to aid in the school, uh, school community relations. And then we have, obviously, a school board, a union administration, building administrators, teachers, and then all other support for our power structure. Public opinion. Um, some people do find my community to be violent and low quality. Uh, whereas for others, it's high achieving. We do uh, churn out quite a few Ivy League students uh, every year. Uh, a lot of the low quality, uh, as far as education goes, is because when No Child Left Behind came, we did have the lowest test scores in the area. Um, we are increasing graduation rates. Superintendent Tate did, uh, does promote uh, drop back in, is what his initiative is, to get students who have dropped out to drop back in. Um, we have a reduction of suspensions. Uh, utilizing diversion programs in all the high school and actually that's what I do part-time is, is to work with students um, so they can get back into class and uh, are able to attain credit despite the fact that they may have gotten trouble in the class. Uh, we have increased marketing using the District of Distinction tagline that is on everything we put out as Davenport is a District of Distinction. Public opinion surveys, the use of the victory survey uh, that goes out uh, personal interviews, telephone interviews. Um, there are questionnaires for the parents. There's mailed home questionnaires, and that was actually from you guys, but we do follow all of that. And then when students leave the area, we do an exit interview uh, when, when they withdraw. Once again, sources for my information is DavenportSchools.org, ScottCountyIowa.com, CityOfDavenportIowa.com, and Census.gov. Thank you for listening, and have a good day, and I hope you enjoy my presentation.